Yep. Yep. We uh we did it again. But uh <laughs> you guys are going to love this one, man. In the past on Facebook Marketplace, we've bought submarines from 1998. We've bought random yellow submarines, F1 race vehicles, and we even got to use a really cool jet car. But I reached out to you guys and said, send me the craziest thing you guys can find on Facebook Marketplace, and you guys absolutely delivered. For the very first time, I would like to present to you a retired US Coast Guard military grade boat, which we have deemed, well, we don't have a name for it yet, but it's epic. You might quickly realize that this is not your everyday boat. Everything on this is completely militarized. From the shock absorbing seat so you can smash waves at 60 plus miles an hour. It takes waves really well. All the way down to the completely metal floor and hull of this boat, which is made to be able to withstand massive punishment. You'll also notice industrial pieces like this all over the boat. There's a massive one of these at the front of the boat as well. And surprisingly enough, these are made to be attach points for helicopters to be airlifted off the water and dropped anywhere else where they're needed. Even getting dropped from 10 foot in the air into the water, these boats are made to handle it. You might also think these massive air tubes are a weak point, but the reality is these don't even float the boat. They're Kevlar reinforced and they're actually made to ram into the side of the boats as well as be suspension for massive waves that this boat is able to take. Now a lot of that might seem like overkill but on this boat it was most certainly used. Matter of fact this boat has been in service on the war on drugs since 2008. One of the most successful missions was a 71 day deployment where the boat you guys are seeing had seized over 180 million dollars worth of contraband. The craziest part is we didn't even know that when we were going to buy the boat. We actually got the boat from Alabama Search and Rescue. It had been retired from the US Coast Guard where they weren't really able to utilize it because all they really had was a couple of lakes and some rivers in Alabama and this boat just didn't make that much sense for them. However, when we got the boat, we researched the Coast Guard numbers that are still on the side and it pulled up a whole news article telling us some of the wild stories that this boat had experienced. To give you an idea of how crazy of a piece of equipment we now have. The government bought this in 2008 for over a quarter of a million dollars. We did not pay anything like that. Matter of fact, we have a massive, super healthy turbo diesel engine in ours, and we bought ours for less than boats that are just like this that don't have any electronics and don't run. So we got a crazy deal and I wanna say thank you to you guys for putting me in the position to even be able to do something like this. Really dumb of me, but I actually wired Alabama Search and Rescue all of the money before I ever did any paperwork or had any contracts or even saw the boat. So yeah, don't do that. That was, that was really dumb of me to trust them with all that money. So let's go ahead and drive to Alabama and see our boat for the very first time. I was really nervous because even if it sucked, I had already technically bought it. And there's like a no return policy, so. Yeah. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, sorry I'm a little bit late. Dude, we've been here for hours. Okay, but seriously, like, how bad is it? Right here's all the stuff we've already done for you. This is what we've been paid. You guys know I'm gonna pay you. I've told you I'm gonna pay you. I'm gonna figure it out. We, as a team, are going to figure it out. But besides that, what else do we have to do? Take a look behind you. The whole board. Pretty much. The whole board. Yeah. Okay. Everything on here is what we need to be able to finish up all the projects. Okay, so we're nearly done. We just have to put time in to get all this stuff done. Except everything in red has not been paid for. It's like, I don't even know where my money is going. Well, it's simple, really. If you look, the more money that you spend equals the less money that you have. And right now, you are negative $42,387. Corey, don't forget, we still haven't been paid also. And that's why today's video is sponsored by Pokerist. This is only like six bucks. Even though you don't win real money in Pokerist, the feeling of winning is good enough for me, especially after seeing those charts, because your boy is down bad. You can beat other players in tournaments and become a winner. Gotcha. I've always been a fan of Texas Hold'em, but now with this mobile game, I can play against players all around the world from the comfort of my very own home, or in my case, submarine. Which is great for me because I can play this game while driving to buy other 
ridiculous things that drain my bank account. You can click the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen to download Pokerist while I tell you more about how dope this game truly is. You can also choose from over 11 games to unlock free rewards in their daily events and compete in unique online tournaments. And my personal favorite is you get to play with real people and make new friends. And to all you real people out there, I'm gonna continue and improve my skills and my experience and I will be the number one player out there. Download Pokerist in the link in the description or scan the QR code right here and get 5,000 chips as a bonus. The game is available iOS, App Store, and Google Play. So be sure to click the link in the description or search Pokerist in the App Store and I'll see you guys in the game. We are officially two minutes and 0.8 miles away from seeing the big search and rescue boat for the first time. They already have the money. We wired them the money, we signed the contracts and the bill of sale. So if it sucks, I'm screwed, but if it's amazing, then that's great. I've never owned a diesel. This is a diesel engine. I've never owned an inboard. This is an inboard. And at this point, after this boat, I think I will be able to man any vessel on the water besides like a giant yacht. Oh, dude, there it is. There it is. It's rather large. Alabama search. And rest. Oh my gosh, bro. It's yes. so meaty, dude. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, let me let me meet these guys real quick. Yeah. Yeah. That, that thing's solid. Yeah, that's solid. We haven't even got out and looked at it yet, but this was the move. If we were gonna have a search and rescue boat, I do not think we would get any better than what we got. Uh huh. Just got to see the search and rescue boat for the first time. Uh, literally haven't even done a full walk around yet. But as soon as we got to the back, he was like, "Oh, you see this? This is a ten thousand pound tow hook." And there's a 10,000 pound tow hook up front. And it's actually made for a helicopter to bring it and drop it into the water. He was like, if you get a helicopter one day, you can just bring it around and drop it wherever you need to. I'll get, I'll get the pilot license. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll call Heavy D Sparks. When he gets his Black Hawk done, he'll freaking tow us around. That'll be sick. <laughs> That's insane, dude. <laughs> just grab all of that. Is that my helicopter for pickup? <laughs> Let's get her in the water. Yeah, things are happening so fast over here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you a couple things. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Freeze oh, good boy. All right, first thing you wanna check, down there is the main water intake. Yep. Up is on, over is off. That's it. Oh, Just okay. Make sure your water's off. Normally you wanna check your oil, check your fluids. You got your gear drive. He's back there. It's not on like a normal outboard where it's yeah. on the engine. This is just your water filter, water but filter. Uh, you'll kind of see a little bit of water going through. Fuel filters yeah. here and here. Oil filter on orange on that side. All right. Line that up so it'll close. Yep, yep. Clear on my side. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, that's the air for so the tubes. Turn them off. Where is that at? Oh, that's back here. Okay, got it. You can't overinflate them. If you start hearing air hissing out, yeah. they're it's just, just coming the out release of these. valves. There's three PSI release valves everywhere. Got it. So you can't hurt it. Just air it up till you hear air. Got it. Then turn it off. Current, son. Wow. Okay. That's an entry. <laughs> All right. Bye. What are your thoughts right now? Good boat, My, bad boat? Good boat. There's gonna be a lot of work okay. to make it the way we like our boats. Our, our boat is vaping right now, hella clouds. It is. Hella clouds right hella now. Hella clouds, that's <laughs> diesel. Just, just, just diesel. <laughs> the thing's sick. It fired right up. At least it works. That's what we were worried about it. Not working, sending the water working. Here we go. Everything is over. -baked. That's the best thing is I can just bump into everything. <laughs> I'm good at that. All right, boys, assigned seating. <laughs> We've got our captain up front. We got the rest of our boys in the do back. Yeah, no, Wait a I've minute. Seen that. Whoa, we do have seatbelts? Seat oh, dude, sick. And this is spring loaded right here? Oh, dude. Boys. <laughs> it's shock absorbing seats. They're all shock absorbing seats, Doug. That is crazy. I feel like I'm, I really do feel like I'm at Disney. I should be paying attention, but that's what we got Corey for. I'm just having fun bouncing in my seat. 
you got this. You thought the F1 was a big project. <laughs> this, this is a bigger and bigger project. Hey, hey Corey, we're not running out of work anytime soon. No. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah, you guys Hope got a, a year, a year's worth of work at Jiggin Incorporated. <laughs> It's awesome. This boat's awesome. Over. <laughs> that one's for mental support. This is full speed all the way up. I'm. We're kicking her in the high gear. No full speed test. I mean, what an absolute meat wagon of a boat. <laughs> I mean, I, anytime a boat has seat belts, it's kind of funny. But on this one, it's like uh, Mandatory. necessary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Travis, I had to take this camera from Travis because poor guy was like literally holding on for dear life, and he was he was getting slingshotted because he's in the absolute back. And I don't. We'll go over it later. But each of us has our own little seating area. It looks like we have like a little TV dinner situation going on here. But all this is shock absorbing. So. All of those waves you can't even feel. I literally could yeah. close my eyes. You could put me on this boat and be like, "Do you want to buy it?" Off to your experience with your eyes closed, I'd be like, "Yes, yes. I would like. <laughs> I would like to buy this." So, screw a power pole. Just run into stuff. <laughs> you got work. you got 360 degree airbags. Pulls in, so, you know? <laughs> that was crazy. <clears throat> what I mean, I, I mean, what do you say? There's no way to explain this on YouTube. No. There's no way to explain this. You had the hardest yeah. job out of everybody. I probably felt like you on that two-seater F1 boat. Yeah, just getting chucked around, yeah. huh? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> what about you? How was your experience? Yeah, I'm not used to being tossed around like that. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever something can take something the size of me and throw it around, I'm like, all right, I like it. Yeah, I yeah, like it. I that's like amazing. It. What was that? They're supposed to be self-writing, so if you flip them over, they're supposed to automatically write. Pull Sounds over. like a challenge Pull to me. Over. <laughs> this is made they pull up Coast Guard docks, their fuel hoses latch onto that so okay. they can, like, I mean, imagine how much fuel can be pumped through it. So that's to fuel this boat? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. That wow, goes literally all the way down. Yep. Just right. It's like I got a convertible. All right, new title. Bot Search and Rescue Military Convertible <laughs> <laughs> Boat Turbo Diesel Seat Belts Required. <laughs> you got storage here. Oh wow, yeah. So leaving this in here for you. You got an air horn, brand new whistle, flare kit. Awesome, thank you. And then on this side, you have extra. This is gear loop. Got it. Power steering trim, and then two belts. Perfect. Number one thing, if it ever starts squealing, tighten the belt up. Okay. If it continues to squeal, you're gonna break both belts. Okay. Like we did. Perfect. And then you're gonna need belts. You know, there's so many things I could say. One, everything I own right now, boat-wise, is two-inch ball. You know you got a beefy girl when you gotta change your ball to a bigger ball. I bought the boat without seeing it at all. Like, no research, no nothing. I felt like I could really trust Alabama Search and Rescue because, I mean, they're like a great organization. And I just had like a little bit more trust going into this deal, which also kind of scared me a bit. But when I got here and saw the boat, I mean, you envision it in your head. I only had a few pictures. You envision it, it's like, yeah, like, sure, it's a little dirty or sure, like, the orange is like a little sun faded and we gotta like put some oils and stuff on it and get it back where it needs to be. But 
as soon as that engine started, like all that disappeared. This is like riding a bull on the water. And as soon as I got here, he was like, yeah, helicopter uh, clips mount here and here, and you can actually lift this boat and drop it into the water anywhere via helicopter. And I'm like, wow, like we really have such a special piece of military grade equipment now. And it's like the way it is built is made for some serious operations. And that's so cool. And you can tell by the performance. It goes faster than that, by the way, Trav. He said that is built for towing, which is great because we've got some ideas up our sleeve. But he said, you just switch the prop and then boom, you got a brand new top speed. I mean, do you think I'm doing this justice by trying to explain what this is? It's like you, you can't, right? No. You can't explain it. All right, well, let's see if that baby sticks. There's so much like specific military stuff we have to learn about this. Lord have mercy, we have a lot to learn. So Corey and BJ are getting the uh, rundown on how to use this boat, maintain this boat. Because as you guys know, I'm just more the underwater guy. And uh, they're like the ultimate pit crew for my channel at this point. I'm quickly finding out though, I am extremely in over my head. This is, this is a lot. If I didn't have Corey here, I would be 100% screwed to be honest with you. It's so cool though. So we're just gonna have to figure it out. I mean, it's a unit. Right now, I mean, I'm holding a helicopter clip strap. You feel confident, Corey? Of course. You feel confident, BJ? That's two out of three. That's good for me. I mean, I absolutely got it. Yeah. Ain't no problem. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm, I'm completely confident right now I could take this thing, throw it in the ocean, we'd go to Alaska. I saw the picture of it, and that's why I bought it. You know, these boys know how to do stuff, so. That's why they're It honestly is. I mean, even the engine is a simple mechanical fuel pump design, yeah. all that stuff. So I just saw about 10,000 wires in all circular patterns. That so is, that's, it is overwhelming. That's... Got it. <laughs> if you decide you want to sell it, I'll give you the guy's number. He offered us. He was going to fly in like today. Hey, we're going to need that number just in case. <laughs> no. That's wild. No. Everything's going to be okay, even though I don't know how to use you yet at all. I just know that. You have seat belts and you really should wear them. Or else your camera guy will almost go flying out <laughs> while doing donuts. We rode in the boat for maybe seven to 10 minutes, but we have learned about the boat for probably over an hour now. Just like very specific details. Don't do this. This is the most important thing. If you do this, I wouldn't recommend it because. So I've tuned out. Uh, my mental capacity is completely full, so I'm 100% relying on Corey and his knowledge. We're even gonna drop this back in the water and like go get some stuff for the trailer. I don't even know how to start it to get it back on the trailer. I have done that several times. Hey, don't you bump my bumpers. <laughs> it's literally the safest boat ever. Oh, come on, Cap. boy. Well, man, I appreciate it so much again. Seriously, right. I, it's so cool, and it's going to be an awesome yeah. piece Thank of equipment. You. And thanks for the informative walkthrough of what you have dealt with. Quick synopsis. The drop hitch, we needed a bigger ball. We need a drop hitch, so we got to go get that. And the trailer tires are in ah condition, and we're in Alabama. We got to go to Florida, so we're going to get all new tires, but one thing that you guys can see without the boat being on here it actually says us coast guard right here on the trailer which is so freaking cool this thing has been on real missions it's been out there saving lives doing its thing and 
had active duty, which is amazing. We got a beautiful piece of equipment and it has even a more beautiful story behind it. And hopefully we can do it justice and continue to do amazing things with this boat. With that being said though, we do have to get it on the trailer in a safe manner. So we've got to head to the store, get the supplies we need so we can take this behemoth back home with us. Hey, but hey, when you get down to the end of the road at that stop sign, make sure y'all completely stop at that thing. Don't roll it. There's a sheriff hiding. Oh, okay. Uh, just, just watching that entrance. So I guess <laughs> per I'll always stop at him. All right, perfect, <laughs> buddy. Thank you, man. I, I appreciate you. See ya. All right, Corey, be best of luck with the wires, okay? All right, we'll be back. Well, you can tell who the real freak mechanic is here. I got mellow yellows. <laughs> so. <laughs> That thing was gonna come in handy. Oh, oh. You know when they say the best day of buying a boat is the day you buy it and the day you sell it? <laughs> <laughs> that was a lie. This might be the hardest day is the day buying it. Hitch is on. It's a little underweight. We think the boat and trailer probably raised somewhere around 7,000 pounds. Hitch rated for 5,000. Should be fine. It's not like we're going across state lines at night with no potential lights on the trailer. We really don't even know. Look, sorry. There's a lot going on, okay? Just stay tuned. So Corey is parked over here in all green too. He, he does look like a little game warden. <laughs> Let's go talk to him real quick. You do look like a little game warden, bro. Hey, I've been having to hold it down. Things have been getting a little bit crazy. <laughs> oh. You got boats that are malfunctioning, putting oh, in no. with children. Oh no. And that's borderline, borderline <laughs> Coast Guard approved. Look, I mean, look, you right now, the people think you are search and rescue. Oh. So if something happens to happen, you are technically liable at this point well, well, one to came search in, and rescue. One came in, his uh, his motor blew on him, power head went out. Okay. And he said it was a good thing we were here because if he didn't have good batteries, he was going to be calling for us. Oh, okay. What's our number? It's Do we have a, a phone number? 867 5309. So, so I've, I've been holding it down. Did out you check here. out wires or anything? Yeah. I've got ideas, bro. So, this is what I'm thinking paint this black. Yep. Get the paint for the tubes orange. Get the floor scraped up, cleaned up, black and orange. All black leather orange stitching cross thread pattern. Love it. Yeah. Love it. So I dialed. I also would like to throw Garmin graphs on it, but I literally, we don't have the funds. That one, them obviously need repainted black. But once oh we get that, this seat is actually the orange grip tape. Oh, and put the orange dude, grip tape for nasty. On. Yeah, even like stuff up here. Yeah. That's gonna look pimp, dude. Yeah. This is the epitome of search and rescue. You want to yeah. search? You can be like. Where you at? Doc? Our radio don't work, so we gotta be like, hey, where, where are you at? <laughs> it is a grown man's jungle gym. Uh, are you confident with putting Love this it. thing on the trailer? Absolutely. This Bebo Bebo was toast. <laughs> so. Bebo Bebo. <laughs> Yeah. So we'll, we'll go through it and replace what needs be and we will get it there. I'm in love with this boat. Me this, too. This I, and like... I want to be in love with it and I am, but it's just like, I haven't even drove it yet. And part of me is just like, I don't, I don't think I'm ready for that. I mean, that is pretty fire. Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty fire. Let's do this. It starts better in the F1 boat. Yeah. Oh yeah. Already winning. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's be a team. Jiggy Rescue. Team Jiggy Rescue. That's right, baby. Trav, you're in this together too, bro. All right, my nerves are kind of chilling out. I feel a little more confident with my purchase. It's just like a lot is on the line when you do big videos like this, and there's just a lot going on with this boat. And it's like way past my expertise. I barely even know the boats that I have, and this one is like way more complex. But I've got guys on my team that are gonna help me through this process, and they're gonna help me take this back to its glory days and make it the ultimate machine that it's meant to be. It's honestly already there, but we're gonna make it look cooler too. We're gonna go out on a victory lap, a victory ride. Just kind of enjoy it. Everybody's gonna get to drive it. But my favorite part about this boat is everything is bouncing. It's like the whole thing is a trampoline. It's incredible. The first maiden journey under the proudful ownership of your boy Jiggy. I wanna thank you guys for this monumental moment. It's moments like this where I realized we used to just fish. We dove in the water a lot. A lot of you guys support us along the way. And now we're able to take our water journeys to the next level and continue to show you guys 
how cool it is to go and explore and have fun. And I'm just very thankful to even be in this position to do this stuff. I know it's not without your help. Just want to take a quick second to say thank you. And I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Seriously, you've changed the trajectory of my life. And uh, now it's like I get to live my childhood dreams as an adult. And that's something to be very proud of. And um, it's very, very special to me. <laughs> Look at everybody grabbing their seatbelts. They're like, oh shoot, yeah. Brandon's driving. After, Don't worry. Uh, after yeah. round one, I will wear my seatbelt. Don't belt. worry, I'm a professional race boat driver now. This is exactly yeah. like a race boat, except completely different. And if we flip it, it'll auto ride itself. So that's fine. I want my own little steering wheel. I'll get that's, you, I'll get you one. That's what I feel like it's missing. Yes. Your own little steering wheel? Yeah. I, I feel like, like I can serve you guys food <laughs> right here. <laughs> Look, Uncle Dad, Brandon, I'm doing it. <laughs> All right, passengers, passengers upon the Jig and Rescue team, I want to ask you to keep your hands and feet outside the vehicle at all times because it's way more fun that way. We're going to be reaching an altitude of 27 feet after we hit the biggest waves we can find. Let's hope this turbo diesel doesn't squeak and fall into pieces. And in that event, then we will also have to call our own search and rescue team. Thank you guys so much for choosing the big orange Jig and Rescue boat. And I hope you enjoy your first ride. Is everybody frozen? Yeah, yeah, I think everybody's frozen right now. Uh, all these are back in. Yeah, that's that slot's throwing. If we get that tightened up, and I think I think we'll be going. All right, let me do one last lap, and then I'll walk it in. One lap. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's what like we're so impressed by like hitting waves and doing turns and it just like ju -ju 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 -ju. it's I cannot wait to get this out on the ocean and just do what it was born to do you know yeah. it's been living in Alabama I mean you saw us we're doing figure eights on this lake you know it's way too big for them and that's why they put it for sale it's always been on the water going to work and uh, now it gets to go on the water and have some fun while we're at work when the time calls It'll be going back to work. Yeah, we'll talk more about that later. But we got to get this baby on the trailer. I would say uh, victory lap was cold, <clears throat> but um, very special, very very special. Yeah. Yo, thank you guys for an awesome victory lap. No problem. Thank you for uh, keeping the adventures alive. Hey, it wouldn't the vi the adventures would not be possible without you guys. If you guys didn't know, the Nautical Bros are literally the reason why we have been able to do all of this crazy stuff. So you guys have been showing me so much love in the comments. Understand that all the stuff that we're getting is because these guys are the brains behind how to run it, how to fix it, how to restore it. And that is what is making this channel move and leaps and bounds. I appreciate all of your love and support on my channel, but they have one as well where they're doing the technical work on all of these vessels that you guys see in my videos. So. Uh, if you would, just go down, link in the description below. Go show them some love. They've seriously changed the way we film videos on YouTube. And uh, I'm grateful for that because I wouldn't have the submarine without them. We wouldn't be racing F1 boats without them. And now we wouldn't have one crazy military Coast Guard boat without them. So. Uh, and we wouldn't be in business anymore if it wasn't for you believing in us from the get-go. Hey, uh, it's like a match made in heaven. All right, so <laughs> he wears this shirt every time. It, hopefully it's gonna be full next month. <laughs> <laughs> Sub expert, sort of, when we did the submarine. 
Then we have pit crew number two, the number two pit crew in the world for the F1 boat. And now we have search and rescue. I should have put as expert because this guy, he really knows how to do it, but I still put sort of just because it felt more on brand for what we've been doing. <laughs> but just know, this guy knows what he's doing. Dude, we're gonna fill that shirt up. It's we'll, gonna be we'll amazing. We'll fill it up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get the trailer in water. <laughs> There's like a, there's a TikTok sound. It was like, right now you're living the life the younger you used to dream about. That's how I feel. I feel like right now I'm living what little me, like I, like Bass Pro Shop, how you had the boat and the truck toy. Like this is like the real version of that for me. It's, it's so, it's hard to express, but it's, I can't believe it. Good morning, beautiful people. It's morning time again. Towing the boat last night till like midnight down to Columbus was a success, even though I am technically hanging off both sides of the road, which is really interesting. But now we're gonna go surprise our good buddy, Jacob. You may know him as the Almighty. And we also just researched the boat. And by we, I mean Corey, found that the boat had seized over $180 million of cocaine in one, uh, one day. Which is pretty unreal. This is a real retired US Coast Guard boat, and its last mission, it seized $180 million of cocaine in that boat right there. Oh my god. It has a turbo diesel engine, and it is a bad man machine. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Oh my god, dude! I've actually always <laughs> wanted one of these things. You got a real search and rescue no, boat? No, a retired U.S. Coast Guard boat. Oh wow! Guess what its last mission was? Huh? It was recovering 180 million dollars worth of cocaine from the ocean. We should continue. <laughs> <laughs> is that not crazy? Dude, let's go look at this. Yeah, thing. dude, you gotta see it. Okay, okay, come on, you gotta hop on. This hey, is the yeah. nautical, bro. You gotta meet hey, the guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> So this is Corey. Corey, this is Jacob. Or nice to meet you, This is DJ. Nice to meet you, brother. Do you want to know how much the government paid for it? Yeah, how much? Two hundred fifty-four thousand dollars. Did you pay ten grand? No, way more than that. Oh yeah. Yeah. This thing is sick. How do you get in there? You just there's there's this. It's this right here. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it, bro. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. How do you do that? You just gotta <laughs> hold on and just kind of let it rip. Hold on, hold on. I did leg day yesterday. <laughs> I'm coming in. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> what are these seats? Look at these. <laughs> Dude, there's this What do you do? You're supposed to hold on this thing when you're going down the rapids or something? No, it's no. Like... Come sit in one come okay, sit in this one. Come sit in this one. There's a difference. Hop up and down. Oh, yeah, son. There's suspension. So what are we doing with this thing? Like I feel like our abilities are not gonna be as good as Okay, well hear me out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Submarine. Okay. Racing team. Yeah. Search and rescue. Uh-huh. Or whatever we want. You see that big hook on the back? Yeah. You see the big hook on the front? Uh -huh. That's um to hook it to a helicopter. Oh wow! So the helicopter can take it and drop it anywhere. I got a uh, helicopter. I got a, <laughs> no, I got a video idea with a helicopter. That okay. We we might be able to. I don't know. You might need a big helicopter with this. Side. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a big helicopter. Dang. It's crazy, right? Hey, I want to sit in this. Thing. Yeah. Hey, so you know this reminds me of like some kind of a carnival ride. Yeah, you that's what, what we you said. Sit on it and you like put your little coins yeah, in here. Yeah, like, dude. How do you get up there? So you have stirrups. Put your feet in the stirrups. Oh, if, oh, it's like real deal. You have stirrups. <laughs> you know, if you got to use those, like yeah. you're in it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the best part, the best part is like. Yeah. You're you're driving. You got a lot of stuff to focus on. You have a gun turret up here, and this is actually your gun button right here under. Wow, really? You press that, and it's just, 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 just. everybody has their headsets on. I'm like, all right, boys, we're going into battle. We're going into battle. Right there. And then there's more waves. Hold on. And you just keep battling. <laughs> <it down. laughs> I'm like, hold your fire, hold your fire. Ah, it's a. Uh, <laughs> I know we're like making jokes, but dude. 
<laughs> the, we it. found this boat on the internet. The yeah. pictures of it with the Coast Guard. Full, this thing is floated down a cocaine. You have dudes in helmets, really? freaking guns. Oh, you actually like have the original thing. pictures? Yes, because wow, it has a Coast awesome. Guard number on it. That's awesome. And so we searched that's the Coast Guard cool. number. And by we, I mean Corey found everything this morning. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a trolling motor on this boat, which yeah. means I don't know how to drive it. Because, I mean, yeah. you know yeah. you know how it is. Yeah. 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 Trolling motor, you be with it. I don't know how to drive a boat either. But on this boat, it's really nice because the whole thing is just bumpers. So you right, can just so hit, you hit stuff. The, yeah, hit the thing. Yeah, I just like, here's yeah. the dock. Boom. I always buy stuff and my cameraman, Joseph, he's like, uh, are, we, are we gonna get certified or whatever? And I was like, no, we can just <laughs> buy it. And then we'll figure it out. That's what you're doing. Yeah, you just yeah. bought this thing, you're gonna figure it out. So, well, yeah. So here we are. We have officially done it. And now we are the new proud owner of a 2008 Zodiac Hurricane Coast Guard boat. My dream as a little boy was to always own one of the Coast Guard boats. It's actually called the Defender. It's made by Metal Shark. I mean, the thing's like $400,000, so I'll probably never actually make that happen. But this is like a childhood dream come true for me. And uh, I want to say thank you. I'm so, so grateful. Even the past two months has been just unreal from getting the sports sub, being in a position to actually buy that little yellow personal submarine and then the F1 and all of these things we're acquiring, we really want to branch out the channel and do different things. And a lot of you guys have said, yo, we miss the pond videos and yo, we miss the river treasure videos. And I'm here to tell you, we are still doing those. But right now we're just getting infrastructure, bringing in new equipment so we can do them in new, more fun, exhilarating ways to share with you guys. I'm always doing stuff to make content for you. I want this to take our channel to the next level and be able to grab a helicopter and attach our boat and like drop in somewhere really cool. And this is the kind of content that I wanna make for you guys. And uh, all of your support is continuing to allow us to financially do that. So I wanna say thank you so much for putting me in this position. And I promise I'm taking everything you guys give me and putting it right back into you. It's unreal, I, I mean, We've got a beast of a boat and I couldn't be more excited. A couple things to expect. You're probably asking yourself, Brandon, what are you even gonna do with this freaking thing? And that's a great question. Our first thing we're gonna do is make it like YouTube user friendly. So we're gonna do like some flooring in it. We're probably gonna reupholster all the seats so they look like really nice and pristine. I've got some really cool ideas and uh, we're gonna do like strobe lights. We're gonna do a big horn. We're gonna do some really cool stuff. Apparently everybody wants to see a seat on the top of the tower instead of the radar. I think the radar looks cool if we just spray paint it black, but we're just gonna like revamp this thing, man. Like everything works on it. All the electronics work. It just needs some TLC, man. It needs some washing down, some polishing, some scrubbing, some refabricating. I think we could get this thing looking better than it did back in 2008 when it was brand new, you know? My biggest thing is this has done service for our country and it's protected a lot of people and it's gotten a lot of drugs out of our country and I want to honor that you know I'm looking at this as like a veteran of a boat I do want to respect it and I want to keep the history here and I'm gonna do a couple things to honor that history on the boat so um, there's there's just so much history here and while we are gonna continue to make YouTube videos and some might be more serious and some might be funny and who knows maybe we do a couple of search and rescue videos in this as well the hurricane that hit two hours south of my house and decimated everything if we had this boat we could have ran 4,000 pounds of supplies and one trip instead of doing a generator at a time. So this boat is just a massive piece of equipment for our channel moving forward. And not only are we gonna respect its history, but we're gonna deck it out so we can do more crazy adventures that it was made for. That's our goal. We'll bring the cameras along the way and share it with you. I just wanna say again, thank you so much. You guys have truly changed my life the past six years, but even more so the past two years have been unbelievable. So thank you guys so much and uh, We'll catch you guys on the next adventure where who knows what we're doing. All I know is I am legitimately staying off Facebook Marketplace from here on out. Thank you for all your suggestions, but I will now not be opening any more links because you guys are sending good stuff. It's very tempting. All right, love you all. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.